This week on the Snap Wrap, Ricky Foley and Simone Lawrence get styled for the MMBAs. The BC Lions have a new running back and she'll hit you right in the feels. And the CFL celebrates Pride Month. Welcome to the Snap Wrap. I'm Brody, this is Max, and the MMBAs are quickly approaching. They're June 19th, this Sunday, and Max, I got to go hang out with Simone Lawrence and Ricky Foley, and take a guess at what Ricky Foley's jacket size is. Bigger than mine? Yes. How wild will he go? Look who just arrived. Brody! Swag, 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 swag. Big challenge, but we're gonna find you something. Oh, really? Yeah. Challenge. We're using our muscles. <laughs> Getting sued up and got style. Wow, the light is amazing. <laughs> Ricky Foley made it. Hey guys, time to get pretty. Going double blue, it looks like. Apparently, <laughs> only only fitting, right? Only fitting. Ooh, nice that's style. Damn. So are we saying yes to this outfit? We are saying yes to the dress. <laughs> <laughs> what size jacket do you wear? I'm a 48, 48 tall. 48, 48 tall. For anyone that's wondering. There's some bigger. Some there are some yeah, bigger. It's a good thing Brian Hall wasn't here, because they don't have your size here. Want to say a huge thank you to God Style, especially Melissa, who hung out with us and made sure that these guys got properly fitted. Rivals on the field, but they had a really good time off the field, so I was really lucky to be a part of it and had a blast. You brought me back a bow tie, right? <laughs> you have enough bow ties to last you like years. I think Can you're good. Never have enough bow ties. The BC Lions held their fan fest during training camp, and part of their training camp, they brought Lizzie, cancer survivor, out onto the field for the final play of their scrimmage. They brought her into the huddle. Travis Lule ran out with her. They called her number on the play. Take it away. See these big guys, the biggest guys? We're gonna follow them in the end zone. Got it. You guys make a wall. Okay? okay? Follow me. Okay, guys, we're gonna go trips right. Zone handoff right to Lizzie's secret weapon. Uh -huh. We're gonna follow and celebrate. I'm one on one. Ready? Right. Lizzie. 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 There's a lot of excitement around the CFL office in June because of course, football, but it's also Pride Month and the CFL is a proud partner of You Can Play. Now we're gonna be marching in the Pride Parade. Commissioner Orange was down at the Toronto Stock Exchange this week to ring the bell and we're extremely excited to be launching a new line of clothing in partnership with You Can Play. Right, so now CFL fans can rock You Can Play gear and help support the LGBT athlete community. A portion of the sales from all the clothes will go to You Can Play. Some pretty cool stuff, so definitely check it out. We are so, so proud to be partnered with this organization. So happy Pride Month to everyone and we will see you down at the parade. Brody. Max. People enjoyed our road trip to South Pittsburgh so much. So much. That they were like, let's send them on the road again. This time though, East Division, we're coming for you. We are going to Montreal, Ottawa, Hamilton, and ending up in Toronto on June 23rd for the season kickoff, obviously. We're gonna be tailgating, so make sure you stop by our tailgate, come hang out with us, and uh, if you don't have a ticket yet, guys, I don't know what you're doing. Come to tailgate, we're gonna have koozies for everybody. It'll be a great time. Great time. Hey, happy CFL kickoff, and we'll see you next week. Bye.